Hey everybody, Pico Pistolero here. I wanted to do a quick video just on holster rigs in general. Um, if you're a director, you might choose a different holster rig for a different character that sort of helps um, explain their character and their motivations. So there's three basic kinds of holster rigs um, that you'll find in the Wild West. The first one is what I'm wearing right now. It's called a strong side rig. I have me left-handed, so my strong side's on my left hand. Um, before we start, I'm gonna show that the gun is clear. And also, I'm going to be pointing the gun at the camera. There's no one standing behind the camera. Right, Devin? Indeed. Indeed. So he's over there. So I'm going to be pointing the gun here. The camera's locked off. All right. So this is a strong side rig. And this is sort of your normal kind of good guy rig. And it's drawn like this and pointed that way. I mean, this is the one that you've seen all the time. Um, you can wear it on the left side. You can wear it on the right side. You can have a double strong side rig. And uh, so this is sort of your standard uh, cowboy rig. The second most common type of holster rig is called the cross draw rig. And the cross draw rig is worn on the opposite side of the body as the strong hand. Again, I am left handed. And it's drawn across the body, hence cross draw. Um, I'll tell you that all my crew is over on that side, so I'm not going to sweep anybody with the barrel. And I've already shown you that the, the gun is clear. So, cross draw rig is drawn this way. Um, the danger of it, of course, as we, we learned in Rust, is that you're sweeping a big arc as you're pulling the gun, so you need to be careful if you're using a cross-draw rig. But it's a good rig for if somebody's uh, riding on a horse. If you're sitting down, it's easier to get to a cross-draw rig than a strong side. So if your character is a bad guy out and about, or a marshal or a sheriff that's on a horse a lot, they may wear a cross-draw rig. The other advantage is that if you're wearing a long coat, uh, the gun is not hidden by the coat. It's sort of in front of the coat and you can pull it out more easily. Another very popular kind of holster rig is called the shoulder holster or the hideaway rig. It's meant to be worn under a coat. So a gambler character might wear one of these or, uh, or somebody whose motives may uh, need to be hidden. Um, again, all my crew is over here, so when I draw the gun, I'm not gonna sweep anybody. This is another kind of a cross draw rig. It's, it's drawn across the body and then aimed like this. So this is uh, called the shoulder rig or the hideaway rig. The last holster rig I want to show you is one of my favorites. It's an older type of holster rig that was used with percussion uh, revolvers. Um, I have two 1851 uh, Navy reproductions by Pieta. You can see that they're not loaded because there's no percussion caps. Uh, also, my crew is off to the side and I'm going to be pointing the guns this way. So this is called a plainsman or a twist rig. Now you've seen people wear these kind of rigs and sometimes people want to draw them like this, which is really stupid, really bulky. Um, that's not how these rigs were uh, drawn at all. This is actually the kind of rig that uh, Wild Bill Hickok uh, wore uh, up until the day he died in uh, Deadwood in August of 1876. The way that these rigs are actually uh, utilized is with a twist draw. So you go this way and then come back and do that. It's actually a very fast and very accurate way to draw because your guns are going completely towards the target the whole time. Um, if you have the uh, acumen and the experience and the strength of wrists, it's actually a very good way to draw your guns. The plainsman, and I'm right, my left hand's better than my right hand. So this is the plainsman rig or the, the, um, the twist draw. So I hope this gives you an idea of the different types of rigs that you might want to use if you're making a Western and how to apply them to different characters. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to. And if there's any kind of video that you want me to make, uh, let me know and I will do my best. Uh, thanks to uh, Devin and Grace for being my crew. They did a great job, and we'll see you later.